In this lesson in science, we are going to learn about the uses of water from the different sources. Do you know what is on the screen? Yes, you're right. It is the planet Earth. It is where we all live. Planet Earth has been called the Blue Planet due to the abundant water on its surface. But just how much water exists on, in, and above our planet? Do you know where we can find water? Very good in naming the sources of water. Water comes from different sources. It may come from open or closed sources. It may also come from a small body of water or a big body of water. Can you identify among the sources of water, which is the closed or open sources? What about a small body of water and a big body of water? Let's see about that. Sea, ocean, lake, river, groundwater, and tundra. Water, water everywhere. You've heard the phrase, and for water, it really is true. Earth's water is almost everywhere. Above the earth, in the air and clouds, on the surface of the earth, in rivers, oceans, and ice, plants and living organisms, and inside the earth in the few miles off the ground. There are three main sources of water. The kind of water depends on its sources. The kinds of water are the salt water or the sea water and the fresh water. The sources of the salt water are the oceans and the seas. And the sources of fresh water are the surface water or the water that's on the earth and the groundwater or the water that's in or within the earth. Surface water are the rivers, the lakes, the ponds and glaciers, icebergs and ice cups, while the sources of groundwater are the springs and the wells. So the three main sources of water are the salt water, the fresh water, and the ground water. Salt water. Salt water contains plenty of salt. Its sources are the seas and the oceans. Did you know that 90% of the water on Earth is salt water? And seawater is also called hard water because they are not potable water unless salt and other impurities are removed. When we say not potable, it means it is not safe to drink. Fresh water. Unlike the sea water or the salt water, it does not contain salt. Surface water comes mostly from rain. Groundwater is found beneath the Earth's surface. Only 3% of the water on Earth is considered fresh water, with a mere 30% of that small amount being found as groundwater. Pollution decreases the quality of fresh water. Now let's go to the surface water. Surface water are the water that collects on the surface of the ground. It is the top layer of a body of water. Examples are the rivers, the lakes, the creeks, and the ponds. Groundwater is also a fresh water. It comes from the water that seeps into the ground. These accumulate in the underground layer called water table. 
groundwater is the safest source of water. It is considered the cleanest water and contains plenty of dissolved minerals which the human body needs. Let's see what you have learned by answering the following questions. Write true if the statement is true and write false if the statement is incorrect. Are you ready? Great! Let's see what you've got. Let's answer the following questions. Question 1. Water comes from open and closed sources. What is your answer? Correct. The answer is true. Question 2. Sea water is the habitat of aquatic plants and animals. Correct. The answer is true. Question 3. Water plays a vital role in the survival of all living things. Very good. The answer is true. Question 4. Groundwater comes from water that seems into the ground. Yes, you're right. The answer is true. Question 5. Fresh water in rivers, lakes, and streams is not for recreation. Very good. The answer is false. Question 6. Rivers, lakes, creeks, and ponds are examples of fresh water. Correct. The answer is true. Question 7. Sea water contains plenty of salt. That is why it is called hard water. Very good. The answer is true. Question 8. Groundwater is not an important component in many industrial processes. Correct. The answer is tr false. Groundwater is very important in industrial processes. Question 9. Fresh water is used for drinking, cleaning, washing, bathing, and other household uses. What is your answer? Correct. The answer is true. Now, let's go to the last question, question 10. Groundwater is the cleanest water and contains plenty of dissolved minerals which the human body needs. What is your answer? You're right. The answer is true. Did you get a perfect score? That's great. You are ready for our next lesson. But if you got a score below 7, don't be disappointed. Just replay this video lesson from the very beginning. Points to remember. We can find water in, on, and above Earth. Water comes from open and closed sources. Open sources refers to surface water like lakes, rivers, seas, oceans, and ponds. Closed sources refers to the water within the earth or the groundwater. Remember that it may also come from small or big bodies of water. Pond is a small body of water, while sea and ocean are the big bodies of water. And rainwater comes from clouds. So rainwater are the water above the earth. Can you live without water? 
Can plants live without water? What can happen to you if there were no water? What can happen to plants and animals if there were no water? Water is a renewable resource because of the water cycle. But a lot of places in the world and in our country do not have enough water because there are two problems with water. The first one, it is the amount of distribution. And the second one is the quality or safety of the water. Water is the basis of life. But what if this life is taken from you? 2.5 billion people have no access to improved sanitation facilities. Many developing countries discharge their sewage untreated into rivers and lakes. This leads to organic pollution, which spreads bacteria and disease, causing about 1.8 million human deaths annually. Organic matter can also lead to an oxygen reduction, stressing and suffocating the aquatic life. But it doesn't stop there. Non-organic substances such as heavy metals and chemical waste poison the fish and pass it down through the food chain to humans. What about plastic? It's everywhere. And most of it is not biodegradable. Plastic affects the marine ecosystems for decay, killing seals and fish who often mistake it for food. The number of dead zones in the oceans increased by 30% between 1995 and 2007. So it all comes to the question, who's to be blamed? While big corporations are fighting over water ownership and privatizations, thousands of animals are dying. Earning money has become more important than saving our planet. But it's you who decide how to spend it. Inform yourself. Find out about the problems connected with the water sources where you live. Avoid using plastic bags and bottles. Recycle your garbage. Use water efficient shower head and toilet. Buy more locally produced products. Help to build communities and fight against water privatization. Support independent organizations and participate in water preservation. Water pollution is a global but nevertheless a local issue. Think about the next generation, get involved, and help. Water is one of our most important resources. Anywhere we go and whatever we do, we always need water. We need water as much as we need air to breathe. It is also a renewable resource, thanks to the water cycle. But pollution, seawater contamination, and overuse threaten this valuable resource. That's why it is very important to learn about the uses and importance of water in our daily activities. Fresh water is used for drinking, cleaning, washing, bathing, preparing food, cooking, and other household uses. Fresh water also sustains plants and animal life. It is used to water plants and given to animals to drink. Without water, plants will wither, animals and people will die of thirst. Fresh water in rivers, lakes, and springs is used for recreation. One can go swimming or boating in these places. Clean rivers and lakes are also a rich source of shrimps, 
crabs, and shellfish. Rivers and lakes whose water is not very clean may still be useful. They can serve as routes for transportation for boats. Water may also be used in farms for irrigation and livestock watering and factories. Uses of salt water. Salt water or sea water is the habitat of aquatic plants and animals as well as other marine organisms. The oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, and ponds are the habitats of most of the aquatic plants and animals which are used mainly for food and medicine. Uses of Groundwater Groundwater is a safe source of water and considered the cleanest water because it contains plenty of dissolved minerals which the human body needs. It is also used for irrigation to grow crops for our food. Likewise, it is important component in many industrial processes. It is the source of recharge for lakes, rivers, and wetlands. Let's see what you have learned by answering the following questions. Are you ready? Let's go! In this activity, you are going to match the source of water in column A to its description in column B. Feel free to pause this video while answering the questions. For test B, draw a heart shape if it shows good practice about the use of water and cross shape if it does not. Draw your answer in your science notebook. Infer the importance of water in daily activities. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Write your answer in your science notebook. 1. Water is used in industries. 2. Dirty water can no longer be used. 3. Water is used to clean our homes. 4. Humans can survive without water. 5. Sea water is home to many aquatic animals.